Hey, good morning, everybody. How's it going? Yeah, you liking my morning, my morning hair? Yeah, it was a long day yesterday, but it is what it is. How are you all doing this morning? Hope everybody's doing well. Thank you guys for clicking on this video and coming back and joining us. Yesterday, I was on the, actually, was it yesterday? No, it was the day before yesterday. I was on the Facebook Marketplace, and somebody had a tank on there, and it was for sale. She wanted a, I don't know, it was pretty cheap. It was like 150 bucks. It was a 100-gallon rimless cube tank on a stand. It says to have had a little chip in it. So she posted the pictures and whatnot. I went out and I looked at it. I had to drive two hours to get there. What is this crazy dog doing? Quit it, boy. Anyways, I had to drive two hours to go get there to go check out this tank. It didn't turn out as bad as I thought it was gonna turn out. Sorry, I know I'm all over the place. Gotta turn kiddos FBTV off here. Drove out to this place to go look at this tank. It was about two hours away. I had noticed that the lady marked it down to a hundred bucks, saying that if somebody would just come and get this, they can have it for a hundred bucks. So there I was, pedal to the metal, on, on the highway, trying to get there. So, made it down there. She knew I was coming, I told her I was coming, and nobody was responding to us. We drove two hours and some change to get there, and nobody was answering. Anyway, she ended up answering, um, responding, she called back. We went to her house, we went to check out the tank, uh, it wasn't in great, great condition, but it's not in terrible condition. I'm all about some let's DIY this, let's fix it, make it better, and let's do it cheaper. So I went ahead and uh, just I looked at the tank, I looked at the chip. I'm gonna show you guys the chip too. I think it's repairable. I don't think it's too terrible. I went ahead and uh, just looked at it for a little bit. Next thing I knew, the lady was like, you know, if you will just, uh, she's like, you can have it for 50 bucks if you can just get this thing out of my living room. And I was just looking at it and I was like, oh, I don't know, I don't know. I said, yeah, I mean, I appreciate the offer of 50 bucks. I was like, but I just don't know. I've never repaired a tank, but here I am like, wait a minute, hold on. I want to DIY all this. I want to either reuse it, fix it, or make it better and see if it'll work. Probably not something you should maybe just test that theory, but I don't know, you know, but I, you know, it, it's a gamble. So we're just going to find out. I'm going to see how it works. I'm just shake, shake, shaking everywhere, my bad. Finished looking at the tank. I kept going over the crack, kept shining my light through it. And she says, you know what? If you will just take it, you can have it. I was like, what? I said, you sure? Are you absolutely sure? Cause you know, I already knew in my head, I'm like, I can fix this tank. But you know, I didn't tell her that, but long story short, I ended up getting the tank. It was free, awesome, amazing. What's better than that? Nothing. I went ahead and got the tank from her, loaded it up in the car, um, it barely fit in the car, even though, I mean, I had a Jeep Cherokee and I didn't think it would fit in there, but it barely fit in there. It was right up to the top. I actually got a little dent in my headliner, which is terrible. I'm so mad about it, but it's all right. It's okay. Things happen. It's all right. But anyways, let me show you guys the tank real quick. This is the tank right now. It doesn't look too great. It's just sitting on the floor. I was actually trying to clean it out. It still had, um, some gravel and some sand and whatnot in it. And, uh... Got my, got my dog here all in all in on the face here. This is Paris, this is Romeo. Say what's up guys. All right, so the back of it is um, painted black. It's got a couple scratches on it though in the paint. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, clean all that there up after I, down here's the chip. I know it looks terrible from up here, but it really isn't that bad. Okay, let's see if I can um, move this. Bad, I'm back. I had to do a little bit of adjusting there so we can get this uh, where you guys can see it. So let me flip this back around and show you guys what it's looking like. This is the chip. I don't know if you guys can see it that well. I don't know if I can focus, but that's the chip. All right, so if you guys can see, the glass ends there, right at the, the darker green, you know, the glass colored line. This white line right here is the silicone. Same thing down here. Excuse me, Paris, watch your nose, move your nose. This here, yep, that's my dog's nose. Watch out, baby. I'm not sure how it got the chip. I have no idea. Lady bought the tank from another guy that came with a Fluval FX6 um, canister filter and a few other things. But anyway, so she paid like 300 bucks for it. When she got there, he had all the fish out of it. Everything was in a bucket and it had a chip in it. So she said she still ended up taking it because she had a good deal with just, oh, it was a flower horn. She had some flower horn fish and some other kind of uh, cichlids or something, I don't remember. This had been sitting in the corner of her living room next to like a 150 or 200 gallon tank and a couple other tanks that she had in the room. And it had just been sitting there. She said her husband wanted it out, so she said that she didn't really care. She said, if you want to take it, you can have it. I mean, I ended up giving her some money. I felt a little bad, you know, but I did drive two and a half hours and I had to wait around for over an hour to find the lady because she wasn't responding. 
But anyways, all in the end, I ended up bringing home the tank. Um, let's see here. It also came with the stand. So it has the black stand, uh, which is sitting right there in the kitchen, uh, flipped over with the door open. I'm getting ready to paint it because it's uh, got a few scratches on it. So I'm just gonna touch up some of the black paint on it. I also, while I, yesterday when I picked it up, I went ahead and I picked up um, a thing of this here, silicone, grabbed it at my local pet store. Uh, the Aquan 100% uh, Aquarium Sealer. So I grabbed this. I also grabbed some uh, two-part epoxy for glass. Um, I'm gonna fill the crack in. Hopefully that will help. Um, I did let this, I did actually last night, uh, the tank was sitting right back here in this room. I, it was on the stand once I got in the house about nine o'clock at night. So um, I set it up on the stand. I sat a light on top of it and I put um, about 35, about 35 gallons of water in it. It had 35 gallons of water in it. I let it hang off of the tank stand with a tote sitting under it with a 37 gallon tote next to it, just in case it decided it was gonna leak out of the crack. So first I just put like five gallons and I sat and I waited for a while Then I put like 10 more gallons, so that was 15 gallons. And I let it sit and then I put another 10 more gallons, that was 25 gallons. So by midnight, I hadn't seen a drip yet. The container was still dry. I should have filmed this last night, so I'm gonna tell you guys about it. I didn't film it, but anyways, I did let it sit there. No leaks, it sat all night long. Right now it's like, what time is it? It's like, it's like 10.30 a.m. And I had no leaks. It sat there all night. Nothing happened. So it doesn't mean that I completely trust it yet. You know, things happen all the time. And this back room, it is a carpet room. Yes, it's an older house, but still, I don't want it to. It's got new new carpet. You know, I don't want it to mess anything up. I'm going to seal this bottom side here with some epoxy. And I'm going to, I checked the the seal inside there. Slightest edge of it right here. You see that? There's like this line and then the next line. Figuring out a little dirty in it. That part there lifts up, but the rest of it, it's pretty sealed across there. You, you can see it right there, right there. That little light spot, it lifts up right there. I, but I feel like someone pulled that up trying to see. So the rest of it's all pre-sealed. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the epoxy in there. It's got a pretty significant gouge basically missing out of it right here but it didn't penetrate all the way through. And hopefully putting the epoxy on there will work because I mean, this is a steel. What do y'all think? This is a hundred gallon rimless cube tank, hundred gallons. Or like, I think it's like 103, 103 gallons or something. So I'm pretty excited about it. I can't believe it ended up being free. I mean, that was just like, did you say free? Yeah. I'm cool with that, all right, cool. So, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm getting ready to, let me show you guys this stand too. So it's not the best stand. I'm sure this is the stand that came with the tank. It does have a little bit of damage right here. So what I'm getting ready to do is I'm gonna trim this off right here and I'm gonna sand this down a little bit. See, it's got a little few marks here and there and it needs a good wipe down. So that's what I'm getting ready to do. I'm gonna wipe this all down, this is the door. Right now it's laying on its side. The top of it's over here. This is the top. So it's got an open top. And I'm not sure how much I like that either. I kind of feel like it should have an even surface um, piece of plywood or something on there. So that may be something I may construct. I'm not sure yet. I mean, it's been sitting on it forever. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean all this up. All these little tick, tick marks and kind of glare everywhere. All these little scratch marks, this is all water marks. So I gotta wipe all that off, but it's got a few little tick marks where you see the little brown spots here and here and here and here. Got a few white marks of some kind of paint or something like that. But overall, it's in pretty good shape. It's not terrible. I mean, it's not a showroom piece, but hey, it was free. You know me, you know I like free. So make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up, smash that like, and make sure you click that little bell up in the corner so you get notifications of when we're uploading. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start this project here in a little bit. I might actually um, film some of that. Maybe it'll work, so maybe if it does work, some of you guys can try it. I also, I watched a couple other videos myself on how to do it, so I'm kind of gonna use some of the tactics of the way that they did it, and hopefully this will all work out. So hopefully in the end, we've got a free 103 gallon or whatever gallon is, 100, I can't remember if it's 100 or, I think it was 103, the ones I found online, I think it said 103. Awesomeness, free tank. I mean, how does that happen? You see that? See how that tool's going 
see how thick that tool is and it's going inside of there so it's just like this part right here it like chipped a piece of the glass out there so i wanted to use the epoxy but now i don't think i'm going to use the epoxy i think i'm going to use this gorilla glue gel it's for glass as well picked it up at my local lowe's I think this is what I'm gonna use. I'm about to try it. Actually, hold on, let me grab a piece of tape. I'm gonna put a piece of tape across here so that way when it fills it, it sits on it there. So let me grab some tape real quick. So I'm gonna actually use some heat tape is what this is. I'm just gonna line it up with my edge. There it is. You can actually see that uh, crease down here, but I've got you guys on a tripod that I don't want to pull you off of because I had a hard time getting that phone on there. So hopefully this works, pray for me. So I'm gonna put you guys on a little time lapse while I do this so you don't gotta sit here the whole time. All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and start this little process of touching up all the paint spots on here, if not having to paint the whole entire thing. So um, I'm going to go ahead and put this camera down, start that process, just fixing all the black areas. I kind of already worked on this little area right here a little bit. It was kind of just like peeling up, so I basically just stuck some wood glue under it and glued it back in. And I think some touch-up paint will fix it up and make it look all right. But meanwhile, like I said, I'm gonna put this camera down. I can't really paint and vlog and do all that at the same exact time at this moment. Um, I don't really have a place to put a tripod or nothing in here. I am done painting the stand. Got it looking a lot better. Looks good to me. Voila, there, oh, wait a minute. I forgot to, yeah, I gotta get one more spot. I forgot to open the door and do inside there. Meanwhile, look at that free project. Can't go wrong with that, I'm telling you. The economy's bad nowadays. You guys, you guys gotta take these free projects and run with them. I mean, they're just too good to pass up and they're all over the place out there. Let me show you guys another freebie. Well, it wasn't free. Um, we got a new Goodwill in our town. Never really going Goodwill. I was like, you know what? I drove right by it. Wait a minute, that place is open. I'm gonna turn around and go in there. So I went by there. Well, let me just go see. Maybe there's some type of fish tank stuff in there. Who knows, who knows? So I stopped. Turned around, whipped the Yui, ran back down the road, got me a parking spot, ran inside, and check this out. Just look at that. 20 bucks. 20 bucks, you guys. 20 bucks. You can't beat it. Got us some happy little guppies in there. Got four males, one female. Probably should've got more females, but that's okay. It's got its own little filtration system and LED light built in. It is called a, where you go? Fluval Chi. So yeah, check that out. Hit y'all with a little cinematics. So yeah, what a deal, you guys. Never pass up a good opportunity like that. I mean, they're just everywhere, even at Goodwill for 20 bucks. A five gallon, rimless, filtration, LED light, all built in one. It is a topless system, so it evaporates a little bit, not too much. We've had it set up for a week and I haven't added any water yet, but it's time to add a little bit of water in there. But just look at that, 20 bucks, you cannot beat that. But anyways, back to the big tank. I just thought I'd show you guys that too. Uh, my wife wanted some guppies and I just happened to see that tank. So I went ahead and stopped and grabbed up some guppies as well. Brought it home. Gave it to my lovely little wife back there making some food. Don't tell her I showed her to you right now. But anyways, back on to the project. Taking a little break, letting it stand dry. I don't want to touch all over it. I've already got enough super glue and black paint on my fingers. 
uh, for it to only be like 10.30 or 10.45 a.m. and I only panned it in like 10 or 15 minutes. I've still yet to finish cleaning the glass on the tank. I'm trying to let the the gel super glue, glass glue, whatever it's called, I forgot. It's something made by Gorilla Glues for glass. So I used it, so gel content. It's actually pretty neat, but it's super duper sticky. Boy, let me tell you. I'm gonna let that finish drying up. It's probably already dry. It said it only took 10 minutes, but I mean, I put quite a bit in there and yeah, just gonna sit around and wait. Try to clean up some of that glass, uh, wipe it all down. I don't know if you guys can see them smudge and smear marks all over the place in there, but look, look at the back and the neck on this boy. That's a thick ass boy. Just look at that face. Just look at that face. And this one, and this one. What? What? You trying to say hi to the peoples? You trying to say what up to the DIY squad? Oh, now they're excited and they're gonna play. Now I got the stand all painted. I sat the tank back on there. I still gotta do some more scrubbing on the glass. I've got some uh, like green algae that's been dried on there for who knows how long. So I better get that all scrubbed off of there. And I don't have a light yet, so I took this light here off of the planted 125. It's just a, sorry, it's just a regular uh, LED light that just came with it, but eh, I really don't use them, so I just sat one on here until I get another, probably gonna get another Spectrum uh, 3.0 planted light, because I think I'm just gonna put some more plants in here and let plants grow in here versus buying them. It's pretty big, and I mean, I'm sure I'll put some fish in there. I just don't know what, probably just, I, I might take all my angel fish out and put them in here eventually, I don't know. So there it is, guys, it's looking pretty good. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments, and I hope you guys come across some good deal like this. You guys can work out something that's not too badly repaired, that doesn't need too much repair, not too badly messed up. Like I said, I uh, had the little crack in the back of it there. We sewed that up. It's still drying, I'm pretty sure, so I'm not gonna put any water in it yet again, even though I've already had 35 gallons of water in there. Uh, I repainted the stand. It came out looking pretty good. And just gotta get me some, get some more scrubbing. I gotta give it a good vinegar bath. Get, get the rest of this calcium and other stuff off of it. And I'm gonna repaint the back of it. I'm gonna grab me some black acrylic paint to repaint the back of it. I'm gonna go out and grab that here in a little bit. And I'll just spin it around and repaint it. And hopefully I can grab like some type of razor blade to maybe get some of this off. It's got quite a few scratches down there in the bottom of the tank. If you guys can see all that. I don't know what they have going on. I'm sure they have rocks or something stacked up down there. But there's quite a few scratches down the bottom. But that's all good. It's the bottom. We won't be seeing the bottom. The bottom will have a substrate of some sort on it. And lots of plants and fish and yeah. So... I am ecstatic with it. I think it's great. It's awesome. It's huge. Love how big it is. Still got the 90 gallon over here. Haven't gotten anything done with it yet. That's gonna be a that's gonna be a long project there. I, I've got some plans for that. And I'm actually now that it's on the stand and we, I just built it. Uh, I don't know. I think I'm gonna build a new stand. I feel like I needed a bigger one. Something not taller, just a little bit bigger. Cause now I found a different sump setup that I want. And I don't have enough space down there for the sump setup that I want. Uh, I actually want to get it built. So I may be, uh, if I order the new sump system and I get it built, then I will be rebuilding the stand or possibly going with a metal one because I want my new pump, my new sump setup to show because it's going to be awesome. Don't know how long it's going to take before that's done. But in the meantime, this will be our new project. We're going to work on this one and get this one all set up. This one here will still be here. It won't be going anywhere. It'll be right there. And this one here, we are just going to uh, get it worked out. So anyways, kind of been all over the place. Shaky camera, dogs huffing them, being crazy. And me going back here, back there, painting here, painting there. But, you know, it is what it is. That's just part of the day of my life. So... Uh, if you guys haven't already, smash that thumbs up and make sure you ding that little bell up in the corner there so you guys get the notifications when we upload. And if you guys want to see what else I got going on with this tank, make sure you come on back and check it out. So until the next time, guys. All right, we'll see you. Peace out.